everybody. It's Hello Wednesday. <laughs> Live stream. <laughs> I literally just thought of that like five seconds ago. I'm like, what's my opener going to be? Um, how are you doing? How has your week been? Whew. It is week two in the classroom. Um, I'm already exhausted this week. I taught this morning and that got, and then got live stream already, the set, um, and then now I'm here with you. Let us know how your week's been. Um, what are your plans possibly for Halloween? Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna get dressed up. So I'm celebrating with you today with all my spooky designs. I created this one for you all yesterday just for a little teaser. <laughs> I didn't name it, but isn't this one fun? Um, this one. I, oh, by the way, I'm teacher Marisa. I'll be with you uh, here for an hour. <laughs> um, this one, um, these sunflowers are actually two weeks old and I saved them just for this live stream just because they're scary, but they're cute. And with the little googly eyes, I brought them from last year. I saved the googly eyes from last year to bring these in. And do you see the little guy down here peeking out of the bush? Yes. Um, with this one, I'm gonna start off with a question for you all. What kind of line is this one? We'll start off with that. I'm gonna push this one aside and just welcome you all here. We have Leanne with us in the studio. Say hi, Leanne. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Uh, Leanne's gonna be on Facebook actually today. And then teacher Michelle is with us. Say hi, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> and oh actually you're YouTube that's right I, I'm sorry Leanne's on YouTube today as, <laughs> as well with Susie will be on YouTube as well from afar and then teacher Michelle's on Facebook with Caledonia and hopefully my mom is out there on YouTube I just want to say hi mommy I love you and everyone on YouTube, it was actually her birthday yesterday. Would you please just type in happy birthday to my mommy from the Tulip Tribe? That would make, make me feel just, I haven't seen my mom since last year and I usually go and see her right about now and I just wanna say happy birthday. So I love you mommy, happy birthday. Okay, we have tons of things to go over today. I have three arrangements and it's gonna be super fun. So I'm just gonna jump in. Um, don't forget to put in your tulip so we know who you are. Let us know where you're from. If you are also a first timer, let us know. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put our little friend to the side. Unless, do we have any, did anyone answer what kind of line this was? I'm still working through it here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put this aside. Maybe we'll get, uh, we'll get to that later. Okay. I think I'm gonna start off with the hand tie first. I think I'm feeling that one. Um, I want to also bring up really quick, I always talk about this where inspiration comes from. Of course, Halloween, give that to me. That makes me so excited. Anything scary, I'm like, yes. Um, however, you know, trying to think about, well, I can't do what I did last year, right? I gotta do something different. My inspir inspiration, honestly, this time came around um, through Instagram. I looked through Instagram and I found two photographs that I was like, that just inspired me. And I took that and made, I'm gonna make it my own. So even though sometimes we say, I don't wanna copy pictures, personally, kind of everything is a copy, but we just put our spin on it, right? So let's just get started. Can you see what's going on back here? Isn't that so cool? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. I can't wait till you get there. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm doing it right now. Okay, so we're going to start off with, look at how fabulous this is. Can you see it? Does that read well on camera? I hope that read well. That reads well. It looks fabulous Yeah, it looks camera. great. It looks awesome. Really good. Okay. This, you could just stand and hold that this is really, I can you tell you. So the, the picture that I saw on Instagram, honestly, I don't know what the actual material was. It looked like plumosa, very similar. Um, and this is really what it was. It was like this light lavender, feathery, wispy stuff. And there was someone just holding it with just like a black, um, like kind of cloak on. And I just loved it with like a gray background. And I'm like, um, I wanna do that. That was my inspiration. So to replicate that, we had plumosa. 
and it's literally just a bunch. All I did was grab the bunch and I just kind of shook it out and then it just kind of created its own form, okay? So I shook it out, then I used first the Uber Matte Graphite Design Master Paint. I painted that on top first, just to get kind of like a primer. Also, what happened was, when I went on top of that with the Uber Matte Wisteria, it kind of like creates this cool depth inside. So it, it held the color even better, but plus two, it just, there's this really neat depth. So I just love this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. Michelle has a question. Yes, so when you did the layered painting, did you have to let them dry in between oh, or could you yeah. move right on to the next one? I wait, even though this one dries a little bit faster, I did wait just a little bit. You don't have to wait too long. Um, this, it dries pretty fast on Plumosa, but yes, I sprayed it kind of, did a little dance really quick and then went to my next coat. The dancing is required. Okay. <laughs> uh, thanks to Teacher Michelle, courtesy of Teacher Michelle's yard, we have these facts. Yeah. Look at these. They're bigger than me. I don't even know if this is going to fit on set. Okay, so, um, so these Fatsia, I first they were painted actually copper. Um, I usually use silver, but we didn't have any silver, so um, I used a copper um, it, just for like a primer. Um, it, so painting it first with like a, like a silver or even the brilliant gold, um, typically I, those are the ones I usually use the most. Um, it just, it, the, the black adheres better. So I did that with the flat black. You could use glossy, I just wanted just that more matte flat kind of look. All I'm gonna do is take this fatsy and just go underneath and collar it. Are you ready for this? Let's talk about contrast and what this is gonna do. Ready? Whoa, look. One. Look at these. <laughs> Aren't these amazing? Those aren't even the biggest ones. <laughs> no, I bet they're probably not the biggest ones. Two. So Marisa, I have a yes. question why did you do that. They uh, two questions about your painting. Yes. One, can we use any paint for foliages? And two, would that help keep the plumosa from shedding as badly? That's a really good question. Um, so personally, um, I've only used Design Master brand because it's actually made for flowers. Um, so I've never like use Krylon paint or something. I don't know about you two. I've never tried anything else besides Design Master because it's flowers. Um, so that's the only paint I've used. And then the other question was... Will it keep it, do you think it helps oh, with shedding? Oh, you know what? Honestly, I think that it does. Um, for at least here, nothing, nothing is shedding. And I could tell you, there was a time sometime last year where um, I got, I saw some like painted or treated plumosa at market and it just we had it here and it lasted a really really long time so we could literally stop there i actually really really love this but let's just add more let's see what else we can do to it what do you all think so far are they liking it and what do you love it? yeah and they think that the copper fatsia and the black fatsia <laughs> is just stunning okay so i'm gonna next take this Dusty Miller. I can't remember if I had, if I told Leanne, but Michelle knows. There's a certain style for you that are taking the advanced course or took the advanced course. It's a heritage style that you all learned in the very first segment that I'm gonna try to, it's gonna be inspired by, so Let's see if this turns out. I have a picture in my mind. But I don't know if it's gonna turn out, but let's see if you all can figure out. I don't think you'll be able to know right now. Maybe you will. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. <laughs> and then did anyone answer the line yet on our friend? There's no one with that line. Okay, let's try, let's try again. And speaking of advanced, What line is this? What kind of line did I create with the sunflowers? 
Okay, now I'm gonna move it over, maybe just over here. Maybe you all can enjoy that one over there. All right, so placing the Dusty Miller in, isn't that just beautiful, the contrast? Ooh, and even the textures too. Caledonia said, I want it. <laughs> well, maybe if you got here at some point, yeah. you could actually take it home. <laughs> Um, we're actually, my apartment building is having um, like a door decorating contest or whatever. And we're supposed to like decorate our um, front doors all scary and spooky. And we're supposed to send pictures and we're all supposed to vote and whoever wins gets like a $50 gift certificate. And I'm thinking like, hmm, but I don't know how I could attach this to my door. But as is florist, I'm sure I could figure it out. <laughs> Okay, so look, we could even stop here. And let me tell you all as well, today I um, taught um, the, um, the uh, hand tie today in uh, floral netting. So my hand is a little sore today, but for you, I'll take the pain. <laughs> so anything going on out there? They're loving this color combination right? and it does look really good on camera. Look at it. Yeah, it is grand. So pretty. And I've got some guesses on your line. Oh! They're starting to come in. Okay. Yeah. We've got a wide variety. Okay. So you may have to fill us in. All right. Oh, and I've got an answer for your other question. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shout out to Tabitha. Okay, not yet. Not yet, Tabitha. And Tabitha is she's in the advanced class, right? Right now, the online. Okay, yeah. Lynn, what do we get? What do we got? We've got crescent for this. Yeah. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay. Scattered. Okay. Vertical. And western. Okay. All right. But we have more vertical than anything. More else. vertical. Okay. So it. Okay. And it could be camera angle or something. Sure. Angle. Sure. Okay. So it could. I will, I'll take vertical. I mean, it is a vertical line because it is going up. Anyone on Facebook? Let's give them a try. I have mostly vertical. I have, uh, yeah, vertical, vertical, inward facing vertical, 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 vertical. All right. Okay. So I'm just. I guess we have a winner. <laughs> All right. Yes, vertical. Well, I'll take that. I was looking for implied. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for an implied line. So someone actually did say stagger, which that's how you do an implied line is when you stagger your materials down to imply or create a line. So the fact that our sunflowers are not line flowers, they're mass flowers, face flowers. Um, and I created a line with these, staggering them. So eh, vertical, stagger, you put those two together, implied. Good job. <laughs> All right, we'll move our friend over here. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna um, hear Tabitha's answer yet because okay. let's just place these in and if Tabitha's correct, she'll get first place. <laughs> yep. um, but let's see if anyone else can guess as I keep going. Maybe if I hold it this way, this may kind of start to come together and you can put in a guess maybe. All right, so now I'm gonna start. I'm just looking at my roses to start with the biggest one in the center. Are those the cool water roses? They are. Oh my god, look at it. That is massive. Oh my god, look at it. Love it. <laughs> Sorry, oh. Kelly, I'm taking it home. <laughs> okay, look, you can literally stop right here, too. It looks pretty yummy. Oh, okay, but we're going to keep going. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's. It's getting really tight in the middle here, but I'm just going to add the roses and the roses in. We're going to stop. Okay. So I'm going to start placing in a few more. I'm wondering if anybody is able to guess possibly what Tabitha's thinking. Do you have any answers, any more answers on your end, uh, Leanne? On um, possibly what? No, that's what I came up with on everything. Okay. And then they're wanting to know again what your fluffy foliage is that's lavender. My fluffy foliage that's lavender. It is plumosa, plumosa fern. They think it's spooky and beautiful. Yeah. 
I got another guest. Okay, we got another guest. Okay. Julia might have it right as well. All right. Good job, Julia. Okay, so I'm going to hear what Michelle has to say, and then we'll hear, we'll hear what Julia's answer was. So what was Tabitha's answer? Peter Meyer. Ditto. Yeah. Winner, winner. Peter Meyer is correct. Can you all see that? Okay, YouTubers, we got to hold our end up here. <laughs> if you like Marisa's, okay, click the like button so that we share it out here, and let's get some love for Marisa. So I just got to shake it out because it's really, <laughs> it hurts right here and it's cramping. So just going to give myself just a little break there. Okay, I'm ready. So I need to really kind of round out the center here. Just trying to insert into all of this material here because now I'm starting to run out of room. Let's see, where are you? There we go. There's one. Now I'm looking a bit square here in the middle. So we just kind of got to round it out a little bit. Maybe one here at the top. Jeffy, Christian, and Rose all love it. So Yay, good. YouTube is picking up. Thank you, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Don't let me down. What about any tulips? Do you see any tulips out there? You know, okay, YouTubers, get your tulips in here. Oh my God, the YouTube <laughs> contingent is falling behind. Yeah, the Facebookers are pretty lazy today, too, getting their what? tulips in. I know. Maybe we're all in a sugar crash. I know I enjoyed my sugar. Yeah, I we. You, I know. Lori, Therese, Gayla, of course, Tabitha is in the advanced class right now. Uh, Lisa, hmm, Wayne, hi Wayne, hi Wayne, Alana, hi Alana, Alana, Roxy, hi Roxy, Molly. They hi, just Molly. don't have their tulips in. Oh no, you guys. Well, you have to put in the tulips. Oh, there's Daddy now. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right. This is like a little shaming. To <laughs> okay. Going. I have one left, but uh, I'm going to not put that one in. Woof. Okay. Beatrice says hi. Beatrice Dippy. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right. I'm going to tie, I'm going to tie this off. This is actually a real technique. I'm just kidding. This is just habit, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and tie this off with my bind wire. That's as big as you are. <laughs> Let's see, is Jim Doyle on? He's always like, of course Marisa brings like the whole branch or yeah. it's always big. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I don't know about you, but you know, for me, you know, we're not I'm not able to celebrate Halloween this year as, um, like I want to, so I'm celebrating it with you. So I really wanted to make it a showstopper. Well, it's, they're loving it. Good. Big, big wows and love it, love it, love it. Spooky, gorgeous. Spooky, scary. Spooky, scary. <laughs> okay, so there's our Peter Meyer inspired bouquet. Are you going to balance there? But we're still not done, okay? <laughs> so I, I think most of you, or yeah, probably most of you um, joined us last year for the Halloween last year. I know we started a tradition that you are our Halloween girl. And we can't do Halloween without our spider. And I think this year we need to name our spider. Ooh. So, YouTube, Facebook, what's our spider name gonna be? So Elaine says that's a statement piece. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, do we have unity between the leaves and the spiders? I would say so. So I did have a U glue dash on the bottom. I'm not sure, or strip. There we go. There. Look. And you know what's actually kind of cool with the Biedermeyer, um, with the concentric circles? It actually almost looks like a web. And the plumosa does too. It just works. I'll take pictures of this tomorrow so you all can see. But So there's my design number one. Spooky, but pretty. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go put this down and grab the, um, the next one.
Julia prepared for today by going back and watching your last year version. Oh my gosh, awesome. <laughs> And we're getting some good name suggestions. Ooh. Are yours mostly boys or girls? Mm, mine are a couple gender neutral, but mostly girls. Actually. Okay, all right. Mine are mostly boys. Oh, funny. Oh, so what? Some guys in now. What are what? What's our spider's name? So far, we'll bring this one out just because. I am William, <laughs> Harold, Harold, Murph, and Betty. Betty. I, <laughs> What was the first Murph got me. That's awesome. What was the first one? William. William. I kind of like William. Harold. Harold. Betty. Who do you have, Michelle? Oh, I have Covey, as in COVID. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte, as in mm -hmm. Charlotte's Web. Luca. Spooky. Webster. Oh, I like Merlin. Webster. Beady, as in Beady Meyer. Oh, what was it? Beady. Beady, like Beady, Beady, Beady. Beady, Beady, Beady. Beady Meyer. Corona, Webby, <laughs> Serafina, thank you, Arthur. Serafina, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Henry, Lucifer, Quimby, oh my goodness, Matilda. So many choices. And then I got Saturday Spider and Fuzzy. Steve. <laughs> and they said it's by Dracula. That's by Dracula. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I have my. It, Cauldron, that's how you say it, right? Cauldron, yeah. um, courtesy of Michelle. Uh, that was the inspiration behind this one and also an Instagram photo as well. Um, but she sent this to me. Um, she sent me a photo on my phone and she's like, do you want this for your live? I was like, yeah, that would actually be perfect. So thank you, teacher Michelle. <laughs> okay, um, so with the cauldron, um, I actually decided to have the handle on the side just so you could really see what it is also i don't know if you can see but i <clears throat> also taped down the handle a little bit here because if i didn't it just kind of swung down and you couldn't see so this is kind of giving it a little bit of um kind of keeping it up a little bit um also i mean pretty much i feel like everything that i have here is from your house Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, so this camellia foliage this is also from Teacher Michelle's yard. Maybe we should just go do live. At your I know that would be so. Satellite studio. Wander around the yard and cut things. We're doing walkabout. A walkabout. <laughs> we could. Okay. So I am going to design this backwards, and I apologize. I'll spin this around for you all. So I think I'm actually good on height here. So just placing in the camellia, just to create. There you go, hello. <laughs> Just to create some line and also some scale. Because again, you know me, I gotta go as big as possible. Yes, Michelle. So I can see you're using the black foam. Did oh. You tape it in? I, okay, uh, I did not tape in the black foam. The reason why is that it's wedged in there enough so it's not gonna move around. Um, but thank you for also pointing that out. I could have used green. However, why not use the black in a black container? It just disappears, right? So, yes, great question. By any chance, Leanne, have you seen Evelyn pairing on there? Oh, I have not. Okay. I would like to know if we do any classes in Spanish. Oh, unfortunately, we do not. However, um, I wonder if you're wondering about online, because on, on, in the online program, everything um, is also visual through video, so you can still follow through um, visually. Um, and it's not, unfortunately, it's not in Spanish, but we have people from all over the world that have taken our online courses and have been quite successful. So in my opinion, I don't, there's there's three types of learning that we well I can't be well actually there there is because you're actually handling it on um, on the online course we do it's visual and by hearing and then by touching so that is all included in the online course and here in the classroom too so um, we don't have it in Spanish but I guarantee you'd be able to follow along okay so let me just whoa put in a few more pieces and when I spin this around I just want you all to see um, this is actually something that I was trying to explain and demoing in class today 
you know, it just depends on you as a designer. Um, I tend to place in my foliages first and then foli uh, excuse me, flowers after um, just to create, to help me create a, a form. I don't place in all my foliages, but just some to really help me create my outline. And the way that I explain this in class is like kind of like a coloring book, okay? I use my foliages kind of like the outline in a coloring book. And then you fill in with your colors because your colors is your flowers. That's my thing. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next material that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in here. Are you ready? So we have a question on the basic class. How long does it take you? To complete it. How long does it take you to complete it? Well, if you were to come here to the Portland classroom, it's only three weeks. Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5. Now, if you were to do it online, um, you're saying how long does it take, right? Correct. It, it just honestly depends on you as the individual. It's work at your own pace. So if you want to watch all the videos and design at 2 o'clock in the morning, you can. Um, but you have a year. Now, because of the way that things are, we have been seeing people finish a lot faster. Typically, it's usually it's three to six months, but we've seen people finish as fast and as fast as a month because um, we're kind of we just kind of need things to do right now. So yeah, so it depends on the individual. Can you see this baby's breath? Oh, Leanne has a question. But, um, your comment, <laughs> yeah. Christian and Nicole, who both graduated from your online a year ago, ah. Nicole just got a Cinderella pumpkin, is going to be decorating it out for Halloween, and Christian's going to be working in the flowers for Halloween, because here he is a year later following his flower journey. And no. then the question I have is from Debbie on the camellia. Hers is blooming right now, but it shatters. Would petal proofer work on it? Uh, so, uh, ooh, what part is shattering her foliage? The camellia bloom. Ooh, yeah. I, hmm. You know, camellia blooms. They're they're so delicate anyway. I just I don't I don't I don't think so. But you know what? Try it. It it may it may work. I mean, I don't. I've never actually. We never use camellias cut because they just don't last. But I've just never been like, well, you know what? I'm actually going to see if, if I put Crown of Glory on it, if it works. So experiment with it and let us know. I mean, who knows? You may, you may start a new trend. Who knows? <laughs> okay, look. Did you all see? I'm adding in now Color Enhanced Baby's Breath. And I painted this one with <clears throat> the Design Master Hyacinth paint. So it's not as, this is a little bit more vibrant than the other one. It's not as scary as the other one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. Oh, this is so, mm, I love it. It's pretty. Almost kind of creating another implied line, sor sort of, sort of with the baby's breath. Because if you look at it, I already have three spots here. But I'm just going to fill it in and make it a continuous line. Um, but it kind of sort of looks like an implied line here. All right, let's see. Let's take some of this and put this more towards the back to give some depth there. And then a little bit maybe over here to add more depth to, to bring your eyes back there. You have Brandon, who's a first timer on YouTube. Hi, Brandon. Uh, YouTuber, shout out to Brandon. And his question to you, besides offering out Harold for the spider, <laughs> his question to you is if you have any advice for somebody just wanting to get started in the flower world. Yeah, let's, okay, let's see. Well, you're in the right spot. <laughs> so, um, did you have something to add on, Leanne? Evelyn Perry is <gasps> in the room. My mommy, she made it. <laughs> did, she, what, did she say hello? What did, did she? She said, anxious to see your spectacular design. Oh, she, she figured out how to come, and I'm so happy. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mommy. We love you, Mom. <laughs> Um, so yes, great question. It's Brandon, you said, correct? Correct. Yeah. 
So um, first of all, you're in the right place. And especially if you're just starting um, and, and haven't really explored too much, look, look up more videos from us and just watch, okay? And then we'll give you a really good idea to see if you're like, oh yeah, I grasp that. Um, we also have a fundamentals course online that you may be interested in. It's only $175. It's a great course. And let me grab some flowers really quick. It's a great course to get your feet wet and to also um, see if the online program is a good fit for you or just come to Portland and hang out. Um, but that I would probably say watching more videos, um, even, um, asking, even asking some of the Tulip Tribe um, people that are out there now. Um, or is he, you said he's on YouTube, right? He's on YouTube. On YouTube yeah. yeah. Maybe some of your fellow um, uh, YouTubers out there can give you some advice and say, hey, you know, maybe they were just starting for the first time and what was their experience. But definitely just researching and joining us, I would say at least for a start every Wednesday just to see what we're doing. Great question. You can always call us too here at the office at 503-223-8089 and we can always have a little chat with you too okay <laughs> oh, i sound i feel like i sound like an infomercial or something <laughs> but wait there's more Come but on. wait there's more okay so now i'm adding in a little bit of mini carnations i kind of it's kind of hard for me to see because the lights are so bright but it's okay <laughs> we'll make it work you should have your sunglasses. My sunglasses. Okay. So you can all kind of just see that I made a very, you know, I made a vertical line. And I'm just following that line with all of my materials, really. So I'm just going to turn that around here. You see that? Notice it's the same colors as the first one. So I'm trying to not do the whole traditional um, orange and black, which is fine. For me, that one picture on Instagram with the, with the plumosa and the black, it kind of just reminded me of, of witch, like a witch. So the first one, went, even though it had a spider, but the colors were like a witch, and then we have the cauldron with the witch, and then the next one is witchy too. So, yes, Michelle? Can you show the arrangement and profile so they can see the great depth you have? Oh, to sure. Okay, I'm gonna turn it to the side. So see how there's, yes, there's, can you see? There's lots of depth here. And even though this curves up here, it still doesn't look like it's gonna fall over. So it's still balanced. But yes, there's lots of depth there. I'm gonna turn this around over here. Actually, would this work over here? If I design that way maybe, would that be better? So you can all see that way. All right, look at, look at Look at these dahlias. I feel like they're, they're, they're yeah, they're fabulous. Um, I think dahlias are starting to become a favorite flower of mine. I think I may have to put this back on the table. Yeah, I think it looked better on yeah, the table. Yeah, yeah. So too, this is it's too hard, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's better that way. And I'm, I can't even see what's going on in here. Okay. So let's put a dahlia here <clears throat> and then a dahlia over here. Now the thing is that I'm starting to see is that these dahlias are basically almost the same color as these mini carnations, but there's enough contrast in size that you can see somewhat of a difference. However, in a perfect world, to tell you the truth, I wish they were just a little bit, just a little bit lighter in hue maybe, or should I say lighter in tint? You learn that stuff in basic class. Okay, here's some questions for all of you out there that have taken basic and advanced. When you add white to a color, what happens? 
What's it called? I just gave you the answer, but <laughs> maybe if you weren't listening. <laughs> All right, look it. I'm gonna add some more unity here with these um, pink minks and the black here on the top. I'm just gonna snap these. I think I lost my shape here, but it's okay. We can, we'll work with it. So let's put this one there. And you're getting answers, and they're correct. Ooh. Oh, and are all they? Graduates. Oh, good job. Must have had a good teacher. Must have. <laughs> so what did we get? Tint, 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 tint. That's what I've got too. We have a hundred percent. We have a hundred percent. Okay, so this is. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention here, but I started to uh, lose my shape, but it's okay. I'm just going to work with what I have here. Um, what happened was I wasn't paying attention and I, my, um, the handle of my cauldron started going on the other side, but it's okay. We'll still work with that. Isn't that looking kind of neat? Spooky but still pretty. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this back around again. And let's see, let's place maybe another one coming out here. Like that or so. Take some of these apart. Maybe one coming, let's see. Maybe one right about here. And then let's maybe place these two over here. Oh my, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Let's just shadow that one. Just oh, look at, look at, look. Okay. See. I feel like I need just a little bit of something else just to make it pop. I have some green hypericum, and that the green kind of reminds me of, like the witch's face. And uh, sorry if I'm weird, but this is just how I think. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and honestly, I'm thinking about the, um, the witch from Wizard of Oz, really, um, but her green face, and then the little balls kind of remind me of like the warts, but they're, they don't, they're not ugly, but this is what this reminds me of, okay? So I'm going to turn this around, and I can almost, actually, when I turn this around, look, can you see it's starting to look just a little bit heavy, going this way just a little bit. So if I start to adjust some of my materials back a little bit will strengthen the balance a little bit. Okay, so let's, let's see what this does. Let's add some of this hyper, whoop, whoops. I always do that. I always hit the microphone up here. So I always go just, just, just tall enough. All right, this is kind of brightening it up a little bit. Not too, not too much though. It's not bright, brightening it up as much as I wanted it to, but it's okay. You can still see. They're loving it on Facebook. They love the height, but it's really tall and dramatic. Well, remember the last live that we did? You and I, we talked about perceived value. And again, for me, I'm just, I like to go very tall. I just like to make things look like a lot of money. I want people to be like, when they get things from me, or you know, when, when my arrangements walk in the room, I want to hear, oh, oh, ooh. I want to, I want to, I want to turn people's heads. Definitely. What happened with you over here? Let's, we gotta just adjust you just a little bit. Okay, we're kind of getting, my, ba my balance is a little, a little bit off, a little bit. But we can fix that later. But I'm going to stop right here. The, to tell you the truth, I'm going to be honest, with, with the lights and, and how bright this color is on set, it's kind of hard for me to see <laughs> what I'm doing. Um, so I'll, um, I'll add to it tomorrow and make it photo worthy so you all can see. But... Um, this color here is just, I kind of want to eat it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start on my last one because we're like more than halfway over and I feel like we just started. <laughs> <laughs> They're loving it. Absolutely loving it. Yay! 
You know, the YouTube group is pretty international. You've got obviously the U.S. represented from Hawaii to Alexis, Alex, Alaska, Alaska to Texas to New York. But then you've got Kay in Ireland, Ogod from Poland, Mar from Canada, Mercury from France, and then Ninja, also from France, who doesn't speak English but is enjoying watching you. Yay! And see, and that's the thing. We have these people from, again, all over the world that are able to watch. And, you know, at, at least for me and personally, I mean, I'm not going to speak for everybody. Hold on really quick. Um, but floral design is, you know, with color and all the textures, it's such a visual craft that... At least for me, yes, the words help, but just actually be, being able just to see it being done is, I personally think, is probably easier. But. All right. Lastly, we can't have Halloween without a witch hat. <laughs> um, however, we're going to add this into um, the arrangement here. The way that I attached this is found Leanne's um, skewers from... I don't know when and where, but her stash of these that were already painted, so it was like perfect. And you can just see inside, I just used uh, waterproof tape just to tape them in. So just to um, create just kind of like a faux stem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, let's see exactly where I want this. I think I wanna go out just a little bit more. I'm putting it at an angle here just to, to make it a little bit different we could go straight in but I like to put things on a profile or just um, sideways a little bit I'm sideways so hey but it just gives things a little bit of character in my opinion but you don't have to okay so the angle looks great on camera oh good so going beyond the normal colors yeah I'm gonna put white in here also with bold colors how is this gonna turn out amazing all right, I'm going to turn this around because, let's see, placing in a hydrangea. Now, I have this picture in my mind, and let's just see if this works. It may or may not, but you are going to be my guinea pigs. We're designing this together, so let's just see. And you'll see kind of where I'm going once I place this in. Here's a fun question. They want to know if you teach in the basic design course how to use little accessories and things like that. What to do with them? Well, that would be, wait, what, today is, we're in week two, so that's going to be actually on, actually, I think it's a week from today on Tuesday. So yes, actually, um, here in the classroom, you all get to um, pick a treasure. I don't know, it could bring, you could bring a, 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 a Coke, excuse me, a can of Coke. Um, you could bring a high heel, a lipstick, whatever you want, a teddy bear. I travel with plush animals, so. Um, and we, yeah, we teach you how to incorporate that into a design, so great question. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what I tried to do here, I could have just left one, but I wanted more volume, but this is kind of the witch's head, okay? It's not going to look like a witch, really, but I kind of made it look like that. Like um, a witch snowman. Yeah, witch snowman. <laughs> hey, you know what? It feels like winter now here in Portland anyway. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to take these orchids. Now, I am totally going with a theme here, okay? Because first we were talking about color, and then the witch, right? And then we had the spider. You all know that these are spider orchids. Oh, okay, Arach arachnus, arach wait. I wrote it down and I can never pronounce it. Um, aran arachnus orchids. Arachnus means spider. So these are spider orchids. So we have the spider here, spider orchids. Can you see it? I'm really trying here with unity. <laughs> okay. So James Story, this is the variety, but the type is spider orchid or um, arachnus. All right, so let's see. Just gonna go back here. Um, ooh, I'm just gonna follow the, the curve of 
Do you guys ever do that when you design? I know Michelle does that sometimes, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> but that's what it's doing like this. Um, they kind of tell you where they want to go, right? So I'm just going with this curve here. So we have a first timer with us on Facebook. It's, I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, if it's Line or Line from Abu Dhabi in United <gasps> Arab Emirates. No way, Abu yeah. Dhabi. So very happy to have you join us. Thank you for joining. It's so, it's just, I don't know. I think it's just so, so neat to see how many people join us from all over the world. Abu Dhabi. I would love to, you know, I'm telling you with all this stuff going on in the world, I don't know about you all. I'm sure you all feel the same, but um, with all the things going on in the world, I just, I can't wait to travel again vacation maybe we'll have an fdi vacation who knows <laughs> okay let's see here what should i do next i'm going to turn this back around do you also notice too having the um hat the witch hat angled this way it's kind of drawing your eyes into the arrangement too. So it's directing your, your eyes in and you're really staying within the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so I can see what I'm doing here. Let's see. I have some of these chocolate sunflowers. Let's see. Look at these. <clears throat> so we have a question on foam. Yes. Since we've used black foam and green foam. Black foam and green foam, yes. With the current trend of dried and preserved flowers, is it best to use the dry foam or can you just use regular foam and don't wet it down? Ooh, ooh, really good question. Okay. So I'm going to put my two cents in it and you all can, you know, Michelle, Leanne, you can... You can chime in if you'd like. Okay, so with, hold on, this, this, I gotta move this amaranthus. It looks naughty. We gotta put it over here. <laughs> um, with, if you're gonna use, uh, it, it's preserved and dried, right? Mm -hmm. If you're gonna use preserved and dried and that's it, preserved and dried, you, you, I personally would use dry foam uh, because if you use wet foam that is dry, um, it's, it's too soft. You, I mean, you could use wet foam, but what's the point? Like if, like if you wet it, there's like no point. Um, so if, the, if all of your materials were dry, then I would use dry foam. That's what I would do. What do you guys think? What would you guys do? I would focus on the dry foam too. It has such a denser yeah. complexity to it that it gives support to the stem mm -hmm. and you don't have the risk of yeah. shifting and falling apart and shattering. Yes. Yes. And then Arthur wants to know why that color for the hat? Because <laughs> that's how it came. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and exactly. that's yeah that's we well we had i think we actually have about a dozen or so of these uh one of our um, friends brought these by actually last year actually and you know what this is actually really funny i'm glad that you asked that because last year when they came the the color was not inspiring me i'm like i just this is a weird color i don't i don't like it um oh no some of these petals are falling off well let's see if we can hide them <clears throat> um, so, you know, I mean, I'm not going to throw them away. I'm like, we'll use them at some point. So you remember that live that I did, a f I don't know, a few weeks, a month maybe or so ago, um, where I did that hand tie and it was kind of sort of in this same uh, color palette, it had white and some burgundy. Um, I don't know if you remember that, but it was just this really beautiful, like fall-ish, wintry kind of feel. And that's what inspired me with this, this guy. So sometimes things just are like, meh, but this year I'm like, ooh, it works. So kind of answered your question there, <laughs> hopefully. Um, I think I'm actually going to add some Dusty Miller here on the very bottom, just to add more contrast. Okay, good, we have about 10 minutes. 
just to add again more contrast here at the bottom because we're getting kind of a bit dark here underneath the um, the sunflowers in between see here in between the sunflowers and the container they're just blending in and it's not doing anything it's just it's not exciting the eye so by adding again contrast here you're like ooh, you know again when you walk in the room you're like oh <laughs> all right let's turn this around and just add in a few pieces of the dusty miller let me see if we can find another piece here we have another first timer here today Saha kamari so let's do a welcome to her Welcome! Thank you for joining. Did she put in where, or did they put in where they're where they're from? No. Oh well, don't forget to put in where you're from because you never know the the beauty of putting in where you're from. You could have another Tulip Tribe member next door. Okay, so let's turn this around. Unfortunately, one of these sunflower petals lost its tooth. So we have to fix that. Why don't, let's see if this works. I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's just try. If I can somewhat kind of place a orange spray rose just over it, just a little bit, maybe just so it sits, that moved a little bit. No, that didn't work. It's okay. We'll just place that right there. This orange really, really is making it pop. It's a little bit too tall. This is from Sri Lanka. Oh, cool. Gosh, this is so neat. People from all over the world. Okay, let me, let me just add a few more pieces of the spray roses. Hmm. 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 And we have Where's Amini from stuff? Fiji. I think that might be a first. Wow. How oh, wonderful. All over the world. I can tell you that's probably one of, um, every time uh, when I talk to my mom and I tell her, um, hi mommy again, um, you know, I'm gonna do live mom. She's always so, like, I don't wanna use the word impressed, but just like, She's just like, I can't believe how many followers you have, how many people from around the world join in. And it's just, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And it's just, it's, it's just so awesome that we have each other, especially right now. And you guys, and we're just all just doing what we love. And I'm just really, I'm so happy that Leanne asked me to do this today because I needed this live stream. This is, I'm having so much fun. So, <laughs> Uh, okay, what else? Let's put in, how about some agonis? Let's see what some of this agonis does. Just to add a little bit of drama. Let's turn this around and see. Like, ooh, okay, I kind of have something in my mind. Rut row. <laughs> but let's just see because I'm actually going to move my friend because he's starting to blend into my arrangement. Okay, yes, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. Because I have white lisianthus. The thing is, with white, it's a separating color, right? So when you place white with bolder colors, your eye tends to stay on the white longer than the colors. It may work, it may not. So I'm gonna try to add the lisianthus here, but I don't know, I don't know. And even here with the, that's too straight, with the hydrangea over here on this side, it's not so bright because I'm just gonna throw out a little advanced term the hat, which hat is sheltering over the hydrangea. Oh, that's a school teacher word. That is a school teacher word. <laughs> There's so many school teacher words. <laughs> um, but let's just see. <clears throat> let's just see. 
this may be too white and may take away. So sometimes, you know, I have an idea in my mind and sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. So it's just a matter of trial and error and seeing if it works. So we can always actually decide, we can decide. So you all saw what it looked like without it. Let's just see. I don't know. Elaine says you're rocking it today. They're liking this. Oh, good. Because in my opinion, I like it just because it's weird, okay? You may not like it. I want to see, oh my God, I really like it. I want to see what Leanne and Michelle think about it because it, it added more contrast. It just pulls this diagonal line through and it just add, add more, it added more um, drama and just really, it just, uh, just gave it some dynamic here. What do you think? Yes or no? It's a yes. It's a yes. I know. I didn't think it was going to work, but it does. I thought you were insane, to be perfectly honest. So did I. Well, but I think we, we know that I am, but it actually kind of works. It does. Yeah. Very so, nice. yeah. So the thing is, again, with white and color, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is where rhythm comes into play and repetition. It just has to really make sense, and it has to really make a connection all the way through so your eyes so your eyes just make a, uh, like a visual connection. So you don't want to be all like, what am I looking at? <laughs> um, kind of like our little friends over there. Okay, I'm going to turn it back around again. Elisa said they're like little ghosts. Oh my gosh. See? You know, it's really just making it up as you go. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, yes. Elise, Elise, when are you going to stop by? Are we ever, do we ever get to meet you? Because she's local. And she's, um, she actually, she actually went through the online class pretty fast. So hopefully one of these days we'll get to meet her or maybe you would want to take a workshop. Speaking of workshops, don't we have one of those coming up soon? We do. November 7th is a Saturday. We have a full day in Bespo Design. It's going to be pretty fun because November 7th, we should have amazing autumn colors here in the city. And the flowers are still grand, so looking forward to that. Nice. So I don't know, Elise, maybe you want to come to that class. And it's on a Saturday. Okay. I don't know about you, but you may not see it, but that one sunflower that has the missing tooth is really bothering me. <laughs> And maybe for the maybe for the picture we can just cheat. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I want to. I was gonna add. Oh, I just want to add just a few more pieces of um, Dusty Miller to the front. Does anybody have any other questions? We're getting kind of close to closing time. We have one more thing on YouTube. Um, Sam was asking about phone use and going phone free and using it. And Christian came in and he answered some of the questions. Oh. And I'm going to defer it for the time being because that's a topic for another conversation. But um, Sam, you're correct. There are lots of stories. And the biggest thing is that the new phone is a different creature than the old phone. But there's a bigger answer than that too. So thank you, Christian, for answering. Appreciate that. And that's the topic we're going to have to revisit. All right, there you go. Thank you for answering. Okay, you know what? Since I have, since I have time, and I have heard this before, oh, actually the, the past couple times, why isn't Marisa finishing the back? There's well, a question over here. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to do it right now for you, okay? So taking a piece of Oregonia, I'm going to go ahead and insert that in there. So I'm just going to add some um, more Oregonia here. And what this is actually going to do too, when you see from the front side, you can't see it too much, but it does draw your eye back just a little bit. And that variation from the Oregonia, the little bits of yellow in there, your eye does read that and pulls it all the way through just a little bit. Can you see it? 
So just adding a little bit of, or going into the back here, adding some, a little bit of, I've been using the word contrast a lot today. I find it um, every week, <laughs> every week, I don't know, especially when I'm um, online grading, for some reason there's either like an element or a principle that I obsess about. And I'm sure, <laughs> I know, I'm not sure if any of you other, or all of you um, online students out there can notice in my grading, but like one week I'll be obsessing about rhythm. And then I'm like, oh, but this week it's, you know, your form. And then another week will be like, but your color. <laughs> so um, this week it's contrast. And then let's just grab, oh, how about just a few pieces of plumosa. And you'll notice even here too, when I turn this around, notice how I kept my foliages grouped as well. So looking at this, and we're almost there, looking at this, so it's still quite organized too, so everything makes sense. I think it's four o'clock. <laughs> I may have gone over five seconds. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you all had a great time. I know I did spooky and spectacular. Please have a fun and safe Halloween weekend. We'll see you next week. Do something you love. Thanks so much, Marisa. I can't wait to get pictures of those to share with everybody. This is going to